the greatest assets, Trump Tower, 1290 Avenue of the Americas, Bank of America building in San Francisco, 40 Wall Street, sometimes referred to as the Trump building. I, I will say a lot of the press has said, whether you like them or not, there's no properties like that. I mean, I have the best properties. I have, the, I, have I think, among the best properties anywhere in the world. It's no secret President Trump loves to brag that he owns the best properties in the world. Of course, you remember when he used Trump Tower in June of 2015, that golden escalator, to make his presidential announcement. But a new report in Bloomberg today says the Trump Tower has lost much of its shine, becoming one of New York's least desirable properties. According to Bloomberg, occupancy rates inside Trump Tower plunging in the past seven years, dropping from 99% down to 83. That is a vacancy rate about twice Manhattan's average. Trump Tower now has 42,000 square feet of vacant office space and Shannon reached out to the Trump organization to get some sort of comment and we got no response. So Shaheen Nisaripour is a reporter from Bloomberg who wrote all about this. Shaheen, it is a pleasure to have you on. Let's get into the nitty gritty of your, your article. So you talk about the last two years for people who own a unit in Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue has been brutal. It has. Why? So what we did is we looked at, we looked through New York City property records just to see what the performance has been like for existing condo owners. So those who have tried to sell, have they made money, have they lost money? And what we found was, we thought was kind of interesting. There have been 13 condo sales since the election. Of those, there are nine where you could see what the seller originally paid for the condo. And of those nine, eight of those sellers lost money with their investment in Trump. Wow. Of, in the last two years, do you think part of that reason that it's been so brutal is because of the Trump name in New York City? Or is it because it's just a pain in the butt to get to now with the security and the barricades and everything else? It depends on who you ask. So some folks have sold because they don't want to be associated with Trump. Um, some buyers aren't looking to buy in Trump buildings because of Trump. And so those are mostly political reasons. He's very divisive, as you very well know. Um, but for other folks, it's just a hassle. We spoke with one former condo owner, Michael Sklar. Yeah. Uh, his parents owned a condo in Trump Tower. They were from Phoenix. They'd only visit a few times a year, and they actually loved it. And they bear no ill will towards Trump. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is, after he was elected, all these security barriers went up. It got more difficult to get in the building, get out of the building, got hard to get food delivery. And Michael Sklar's mother was suffering from cancer. Mm. and. Her cab used to drop her off right in front of the building, so she'd go right inside her home. But then after the election, she'd be dropped off a few hundred feet away, and so tough for her. It's a bit of a walk, tough and at some point, you kind of wonder, what am I paying for? Yeah. Is this worth it? Yeah, that they loved it, but it just wasn't worth it to That's them. That's right. Last question: Despite these issues, you say net income at Trump Tower actually rose slightly last year, it did. thanks to his 2020 campaign committee. Tell me about that. It did. So his 2020 campaign rent space in the tower, and they've spent, um, I, I want to say they've spent about $800,000, $900,000 in rent payments to Trump over the last uh, two years. And that's coming directly from his donors and going straight into his pockets. And as a result, in part because of that, net income for the buildings actually rose. I mean, the, the building actually produces cash every year, about $10 million or so. The only issue is that not a lot of folks want to be associated with Trump mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Shaheen, thank you very much. Thank Bloomberg. you.